This is a five-part instructional video outlining the protocol for setting up and analyzing hematopoietic colony forming unit or CFU assays with methacellulose-based methacult medium. The day before an experiment, medium should be thawed overnight at two to eight degrees. If it is necessary to thaw medium more quickly, it may be placed at room temperature to thaw over several hours. Methacult medium should never be thawed at 37 degrees. Once thawed, shake the bottle vigorously to mix. The medium will appear opaque. After shaking, let the bottle stand until all bubbles have risen to the top and the medium is transparent again. This typically takes 20 to 30 minutes. Bottles of methacult medium must be aliquoted into tubes before use. Aliquoting and dispensing of methacult medium should always be done using a syringe and a 16-gauge blunt end needle. Using a serological pipette or other instrument is not recommended, as the medium adheres to the inner surface and the intended volume will not be accurately dispensed. If not used immediately, aliquoted tubes of methacult can be stored in the freezer at minus 20 degrees until the expiry date on the label, or in the refrigerator at two to eight degrees for up to one month. Prepare cells according to your institutional guidelines. See if you assays are best performed using samples with the red blood cells removed. Red blood cell removal is required for CFU assays that will be counted automatically using StemVision. Red blood cells in culture obscure the visualization of smaller and more diffused colonies. In human samples, red blood cells may be removed by lysis with ammonium chloride, sedimentation with HEDICEP, or immunomagnetically from cord blood using urethroclear designed specifically for processing up to 16 small volume cord blood samples at one time. RBCs in mouse or rat samples may be removed with ammonium chloride. After processing, cells should be counted with a hemocytometer or automated cell counter. Plated cell concentrations depend on the donor characteristics, processing methods, and tissue source. It is recommended to plate cells at two different concentrations to ensure that an optimal number of colonies will be visible in at least one set of replicates. Assays that contain either too few or too many colonies will prevent accurate counting and compromise the accuracy of the measured frequency of progenitor cells in the sample. Processed and counted cells should be diluted in IMDM with 2% FBS to 10 times the final concentration required in each assay well or dish. For example, if 1 times 10 to the power of 4 cells per well are desired, prepare a cell suspension at 1 times 10 to the power of 5 cells per mil, of which 0.3 mils will then be added to 3 mils of methacult medium. Vortex to mix. Let the tube stand for five minutes to allow bubbles to rise to the top. Prepare a syringe and 16 gauge blunt end needle for plating by drying up approximately 0.5 mil of medium and cells and then expelling it back into the same tube. This primes the syringe and removes large air bubbles at the rubber end of the plunger. Drop methacult into the syringe up to the 2.4 mil mark. Then, dispense 1.1 mil into each 35 millimeter dish or smart dish well. Swirl or tilt the 35 millimeter dish or smart dish to evenly distribute the medium and cells across the entire bottom surface. Ensure proper humidity is maintained in the cultures by surrounding the 35 millimeter dishes with plates containing sterile water or filling the interwell spaces of a smart dish with sterile water. Dispose of any remaining media and cells. Place the 35 millimeter dishes or smart dish into an outer container to further ensure the maintenance of adequate humidity. 
Then, place the entire container of dishes into a water jacketed incubator with a full pan of sterile water at the bottom. Ensure that the incubator is set to 37 degrees and 5% carbon dioxide. Individual progenitor cells in these assays will proliferate and generate colonies of different types of blood cells over 7 to 14 days. For detailed procedures, please review the technical manuals for human or mouse colony assays on our website. For more information about Methacult, please visit methacult.com or email us at info at stemcell.com.